everyone, this is Mary from SVG Cuts and I'm here today with some really fun purses and a tote bag and all kinds of girly purse looking projects. So we've got three different really cute little three-dimensional purses. This one is my favorite actually. I don't know why, I just love the shape of it and it's quite simple to put together. It really just uses um, a couple pieces and goes together nice and quick. And I just really love these little tassels that they put on <clears throat> on real purses nowadays sometimes. So I went ahead and made some really cute tassels for each of my purses. So this one's like a little clutch evening bag. And of course I made it with more elegant paper, you know, with the gray and the black. But of course you could give it any kind of look with any kind of colors and patterns that you want your, your project to look like. So we also have this satchel style purse. It has a cute little, looks like a little zipper on the front. And I think these are, these are perfect if you want to give a little girly gift, like some earrings or, you know, a bracelet or two. And you could even make your own. If you're watching this, you're probably already like a crafty person. So you probably already know that at Michael's and Joanne Fabrics, they have some really awesome beads like um, this, actually. I made myself just with some beads that I got at Michael's. And I love just throwing a whole string of beads on to make a cute bracelet. So you can make a whole entire handmade gift for someone. I think they would really love it. So we also have a cute little purse shaped card and we've got this nice hand drawn caption on the front. But of course you could totally leave that off and stamp, you know, happy birthday or happy mother's day or really anything. So you can give these projects any kind of look you want. You know, obviously mine are more like girly and pink and everything, but you could go completely crazy and really do like any kind of look. So we also have a cute little gift card holder and this thing is just all one piece which is nice so it's super quick and fast. And then finally we have our beach tote here which I, I should probably not pick it up by the handles since they're a little delicate but it's super cute and I think it's perfect for like a cute scarf because who doesn't love getting a new like pretty little scarf so I think that's the perfect thing to put inside there. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how these go together. And for this time, I used paper by Basic Gray. And I don't have any of it left over to show you, but you can obviously see how cute it is. So let me show you how these three-dimensional items go together. So first of all, let's take a look at our satchel. It's this cute little rounded top box here. And we've got two pieces like this, which are the same. And then two pieces like this, which are obviously the handles. And then the bottom is actually the accent color because it folds up and you see the sides of it around the bottom. And then we've also got four pieces that are accents around the top of the bag and four pieces that look like this and four that look like this, which form the little, little handle contraptions. And then we've got these which form the zipper. So let's start by gluing together the main part of our bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on these two tabs in here and I'll just fold that into place. This first one I'm just giving it a second to dry and then putting the second one into place. So I'll go ahead and do that with the other piece also. And like I always say I'm just getting a nice little thin, a thin even coating of glue on my tab so that it's not, not too much but obviously enough to hold the paper together. So now I can go ahead and put glue on the side tabs of one of these pieces. And again they're identical so it doesn't matter which one you're working with. And I'll just go ahead and place this other piece on top of the first piece. Just doing one, one at a time, each tab one at a time to give it a chance to dry before I move on. So if you're wondering what paper this is that I'm using in this video, this is by My Mind's Eye and it's called The Sweetest Thing. And I worked with it a couple months back, but I have a lot of it left over, so I thought I would use it for some, some more purses here in my video. 
It's really pretty. I love my mind's eye and I love basic gray. So many pretty papers to choose from. And I love having leftovers. I've, I've got too many leftovers. I don't know about you, but I have quite the stash of pretty paper. Okay. So now we can go ahead and flip it over and let's take a look at the bottom of our box. Now normally when we, put, when we put the bottom on it's just a plain old rectangle and this rectangle is still there but it's got some things attached to it. So what I want to do is put glue on this long triangle and there are four of them going around this piece and I'm just going to do the same thing to all four. So you can go ahead and do that to all four corners. So here's the bottom of my purse and here is the bottom piece which is going to get glued right onto these four tabs. So what I want to do is put a nice thin little even layer of glue on all four of these tabs going all the way out to the corners as much as possible so that the glue really holds everything together and then I'll just pop that right onto the bottom and I can flip it over and push down from the inside to make sure that everything is working properly in there. So now I can go ahead and take a look at my zipper piece which is going to go on to this piece here and here is my zipper. So what I want to do is put glue along the top, either the top or the bottom. It's, it's symmetrical this way, so it doesn't matter which, which one you start with, it's fine. And then I want to put glue here and here so that I can fold it over like so. And I'm either going to need to hold this while it dries for a little bit or I could stick it underneath something heavy like a heavy book or something. So now for our little zipper pull I want to take a smaller little brad or a big one would be fine too I think and I just will stick this right through and I'm kind of forming like a a V shape on the back and then I don't have any glue dots handy right here but if I had a, a nice little glue dot I could stick that right onto my zipper here and then I would glue this whole thing right onto the front of this piece. So now to glue this piece on I just want to put a line or two of glue along the top and along the bottom. So then I'll use this glue here and just place this right on the front of my bag. So I want to give this top a minute to dry here before I start curving it and gluing it down right onto the front. So then for the piece that goes on the back I would just do the same thing and go ahead and put a line or two of glue along the top and along the bottom and then just put that into place and again just hold hold the top for a bit while it dries so it doesn't come off before you go ahead and hold the bottom into place a bit. So then the, the sides also work the same way so you would just glue the top and the bottom down like this and now we can take a look at our our strap. So both ends of it fold over like this and that piece goes through this little square piece like this. So I can go ahead and put some glue inside there and hold that down and then I can just put this through this way and then take a nice brad and stick that right into there. Now I didn't glue down my accent piece 
very well. It's, it's coming apart here, but you get the idea. And then you just loop it around and attach it the same way on the other side. So next for our clutch bag here, which you can open by bending the handle down and then you can open it like this in case you're wondering. It's really simple. It's just two main pieces and then the handle. So all we're going to do here is I'm grabbing this piece here, which has the, the flat top on it. Not that you need to do this in the same exact order that I'm doing, but if you're following along, I'm just gluing this here. And then I will do the same thing with this other piece here to start forming the bottom. And now I can go ahead and put glue on the side, the side tabs of one of the pieces. And gluing this together. Let's see, I'm going to start with the, the longer one. It's a little easier. And then, like before, I will just glue this into place here. Then to finish it up, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side to close it up with a nice line of glue going all the way out to the corners of the tab. That way my project doesn't start to come apart. And I think it's easier to do the long tab first and just hold that in place while it dries and then go ahead and put that smaller tab into place also. So my clutch is starting to take shape, but before I finish off the bottom, I want to go ahead and put my handle in place with a couple brads because at this point I can still reach in through the bottom. It's nice and easy to do that brad. So once your handle is in place, all you're going to do is put glue on these three tabs and just glue that bottom flap down into place. Then you can just embellish the front of your purse like I did and make it super cute. So I'm going to show you how these tassels go together here in just a minute, but the way that I put these in here was I just put a little dot of glue and I just folded them each over and just glued them right here. So next for our hobo style bag, I've got the pieces laid out here. It's just one, two that are the same, the bottom and the strap. And then of course our little pocket and our tassels and our tags. But I'm just going to show you right now how the main part of the bag goes together. And I can start by grabbing either one of these identical larger pieces, putting some glue on the side tab. And this pattern is so wacky, it's a little difficult to see exactly where the fold is, but that's okay. And then, of course, I'll just do the same thing on the other side, making sure that my glue goes all the way out to the corners of the tab so that it doesn't start coming apart. So I'll give that a few seconds to dry here. And then, as you could probably guess, the bottom just gets glued right onto the bottom here, like so. Oops. So what I want to do is start with I think it'd be easier to start with just one side here at a time. So I'm going to do these three tabs on the end first. And I'm going to start by gluing this right onto this tab here. And I want to give it a chance to dry so it doesn't slide out of place. And then I can put the other tabs into place like this. So I'm just going to work my way around the purse here and let it start to take shape. So now this little tip of my glue comes in handy for getting into tight spaces here. 
So I will go ahead and get some glue inside this tab. And place that and line it up nicely. And then I'll just do the same thing to get inside here and glue this final part down. So now finally to put the strap on our cute little bag here, I have got my handle piece and I'll just put it right through there and open my brad up. So again, this is bent right here. It just slides right through and the brad just goes right in. And now for this bag, again, I'll show you the tassel assembly in just a second, but as you can see, I just looped this around and glued it here and then looped one of them through this little side part and looped them together. So this little pocket on the front is fun to embellish with a fun little button. And since my paper is double-sided, it looks cute to show the inside of the paper, or I could have done it the opposite way with the flowers here and the melon color up here. So here is one of my tassels, and they are the same for each of the bags. And all I'm gonna do to start out with is gently crease just the first like centimeter or quarter inch or so of this little piece. And then all I wanna do is put a nice line of glue on the inside all the way across the top. And then as you could probably guess, I'm just gonna roll it up here. And all I'm doing is just doing my best to keep the top pretty even. It doesn't have to be scientifically perfect as long as you do your best to make the top, you know, stay even and in a straight line. It's gonna look nice. And just because of the nature of the shape of this, the glue is not completely, it's not in a tight spiral, it's in kind of a loose spiral, but there is enough glue between papers that are touching for it to stay together. And as we get further out to the end, we get even better coverage with the glue. And I'm just kind of squeezing it with my thumb from the bottom here to make sure it's nice and even and flat. And I'll just hold it for a second while it dries and then when I'm ready to put it on my project, like let's say this is a handle of a purse, I could either, I could just bend it and glue it like this, or I could bend it and glue it to itself like that. However you wanna do it, you can just get creative. So finally for our beach tote here, it's crazy simple. It's mainly just these four pieces here, the front, the back, and the sides and then the bottom is just a rectangle. So to form the main part of the body of our bag, I just wanna start by putting some glue on one of the side tabs. And at this point, the front and the back are the same, as well as both sides. Both of the two sides are the same. So I can just, just stick it together pretty quickly here and then I can have fun embellishing it. So now you might be thinking that some of these accent panels, you might prefer to put them on first, but I prefer to put them on at the end, and I'll show you why here in just a second. I think it's, it's still easy enough, and I think it's easier to line them up so there's no gaps if you do it at the end, which I will explain further in just a second. So here are my four sides all glued together. And at this point, I'm just gonna close it up by putting glue on this final side tab here. And just put that into place. And as always, I'm just lining it up as nicely as I can and I'm pushing down from the inside with my fingernail in the crease to make sure my glue is nice and perfect. So at this point, you can go ahead and flip it over, put glue on all four of these tabs, and glue your bottom, which is a rectangle, right onto the bottom. And if you wanna flip it over and glue a liner on the inside, you can also do that as well. That part is optional. So at this point, I'm going to take my handle, and as you can see, it's one long piece, and I've got it flat between my hands, and 
all I'm going to do as far as positioning goes is like this. So obviously I can just take, you know, two of my brads here and open them up on the handle. And then the only thing about this is that when you look at it from this side, it looks kind of funky with these brads showing through, which you would see on your bag. So if you want to go ahead and use the liners that come with it, this one has a liner inside, which is just a thin strip right here to hide those brads on both sides. So then to put our accent pieces on, I think it's a good idea to do that now. Start with the one on the front and line it up as best you can. I'm talking about this olive green piece at the bottom. And then go ahead and put the sides on and the back. I just think it's easier to hide gapping between there. And if you do see a little gapping, you could take a green ink pad, in my case, and I could rub it there to blend everything in together. So again, this is just an, a simple one, one piece shape here with the top just folded over. And I could put a little button or something there if I wanted to. And I've got my tassel here, which is simply glued with a dot of glue. Just I just stuck it behind and glued it on. So next for our little gift card holder, like I was saying before, it's actually just all one piece. And if you have some cute double-sided paper, I think that's perfect for this, even though I cut mine here out of plain paper, which is not quite as fun. So all I'm going to do is put one little line of glue along the top, just underneath the handle, and then I'll just place this right there and give it a chance to dry. And then I can take, um, I could glue this down, or for some more dimension, I could put a glue dot or like a dimensional glue dot to fold that down and put a cute little button just like this. So finally for this purse-shaped card, the card base itself is one purse shape here and then another purse shape, which is this dark gray, and then an accent piece, which is this turquoise shape up here. So this accent, this turquoise accent piece gets glued to the front of the card with maybe a dimensional glue dot underneath to add some dimension. And then the back gets glued right to the front by just gluing the handles together. So there's three layers thick on the handles, and then the, open, the, the card base itself just opens up like that. So that's it, really fun little purse and tote projects. I hope you have fun making them, and I would love to see if you do. So post your pictures on our Facebook wall, or in our forum, or on your blog, or Instagram, or wherever. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.